Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the previous video where we looked at the social factor and the sub-factor team dynamics. In the previous video, we looked at the definition and we looked a bit about the impact that having good team dynamics and poor team dynamics can have on our performance. Um, this video is going to focus on what we can do to improve our team dynamics, so our approaches to developing team dynamics. And the approach that we are going to use is team building. So, definition for team building. Team building is an activity which is undertaken to motivate team members and increase overall performance by strengthening their relationships within the team. So we do something kind of out with the game which is going to involve a shared goal in which we've all got to work together or then spend time together to develop ultimately the relationships that we have with each other. Um, and there's some benefits and limitations to this. So the benefits of team building is that teammates can bond and enjoy each other's company without the pressure of having to compete or perform in their normal context. So for example, if you play in a basketball team and you normally only see each other at training and at games, then it's taking time away from the game to go and have some fun together, to go and build the friendships that there are amongst the teams. And overall, this has an impact on the social factor, which as we know, is a big part of our overall performance and strengthening that aspect of our performance. And um, there's some limitations as well to team building. So some limitations, and um, some performers could find the time spent on team building, or they might think, instead of spending time on team building, I'd rather spend it working on my skills or improving my performance in a physical way. So it's really important that we make a big link or a, like a really clear link as to why team building is important and how it impacts and improves our performance. So we as a class, um, we went away and we did some team building of our own. It doesn't necessarily have to be working together necessarily, it can just be time spent together enjoying ourselves and having some fun. So in the coming seconds, you'll see some clips of our class down at the driving range. And that was a good time for us just to go away, do something different, have a bit of fun, and develop the relationships that are existing within our team. Welcome back. Um, welcome back. Just before we finish this video, just one thing to say, which is recently I was watching the Man City documentary, followed the team a wee bit behind the scenes, behind the scenes um, that you wouldn't normally get to see. And one of the things that they did is they took the whole team away and they did some paintballing. And again, the reason for that would have been their social factor, their team dynamics, and improving their team dynamics through team building. Um, so similar to us going to the golf, they went away and they did that activity um, whereby you're spending some time out with the normal game training context that you would normally be in, just enjoying each other's company and having some fun. Um, and the point of telling you that is just that it's done from the kind of basics of sport all the way through to professional athletes. So the importance of team dynamics and the social factor you can see is massive, all the way from kind of junior uh, sport all the way through to professional sport. Um, so I hope this video helps you and we look forward to seeing you in...